Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle, just in case you didn't know, now you do. And today we're doing something I don't usually do. Hi Abby. I know you're not used to me filming these, it's been a long time. I am filming a gift guide. It's been a while since I filmed one of these, um, a few years I think. But tis this season and I have a list of potential gifts that you could give this holiday season. So let's get started. I understand not everybody can be spending top dollar. People are on a budget this year. People are on a budget every year. I made a list that contains some higher end or higher price point things luxury a, a luxury item or two as well as a mix of lower cost items so let's get started so a lot of these are things that i would personally like to receive for christmas if someone was buying them for me if i don't have them physically with me then i will put a picture on the screen because as you know i am not about to purchase all of the things needed for a video just for a video so also it would be kind of rude of me to say I want these for Christmas give the list to my family and then go and buy them anyway you know um anyway so we're gonna start with some of the things that I do have or one thing that I do have and that is new sheets I know the pillowcase is kind of wrinkly I just pulled it out of the wash the sheets are in the wash um these are luxury bamboo sheets from Cozy Earth. They were in fact gifted to me and they're so soft. Like I actually enjoy getting into my bed because these sheets are so soft and I just want to rub my face all over them. They, they really are luxury. They're so nice. Um, highly recommend as a gift especially if you will also get to sleep in that bed that gets the sheets or if you know somebody who really just deserves to have a good night's sleep which is all of us let's face it um and you want to get them something extra special these um i'll have a link and a code in the description box to check them out if you want and yeah honestly highly recommend they're so soft. Okay, um, I shouldn't have started with those because now I just want to go get in my bed. But what will keep me out of it is the fact that there's no sheets on it right now because I'm washing them. So, Okay, so the next item on my list is something I've wanted for a while. Um, but I just haven't bit the bullet and bought it for myself. So I told my sister, this is one of those things that you could purchase for me for Christmas if you wanted. And it's a hydro flask. I gave her some other options. It wasn't like only buy me this. Um, I just really want one. And they have a really good warranty on them. So that if they start leaking or aren't keeping things cold anymore, you can get it exchanged for a new one. Which is great. And much better of a warranty than I can say for literally any other water bottle I've ever owned. So... Um, hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll get one for Christmas. If not, I will eventually buy one for myself. If the person you are purchasing for has a favorite perfume, maybe you could renew their supply. Um, personally, mine is the Fresh Sugar Lemon, you can't see that, um, perfume. This stuff is expensive for me, um but not expensive in the grand scheme of perfumes. Um, but I used to get it at Sephora, and Sephora doesn't seem to sell it anymore. It is still available on the actual Fresh website. So it comes in three three different sizes. I think this is like the medium size, and there's also smaller like rollerball size. This stuff is so good, especially if I'm really sensitive to scents, and um, citrus is one of those ones that I'm okay with most of the time as long as it's mostly citrus and has absolutely no vanilla um i was reading the notes on this one on the fresh website and it said um 
obviously like lemon, citrus, whatever, but caramel. And it sort of basically smells like you um, are wearing lemonade as a perfume and I love it. Next up on my list and maybe someone else's list, if you have a makeup lover, um, you could get them a really cool makeup storage case, sort of like this one here on the screen. This is the one on my wish list. Um, this one's from Amazon. I've seen them other places, same thing. But I just like the little like pod structure of it um, and it looks beautiful to store things and as you can see here mine kind of has like 20 different ways of, like versions of storage and it'd be nice to like contain it all into one little pod. Um, I've seen ones with like handles so you can carry them around. I saw someone talking on TikTok the other day about how they got one and they got it because they could take the whole thing with them room to room um, because they don't always get ready in the same spot. So next up on my list is some coffee table books. There are two that I'm really interested in. One is from the Bada Shoe Museum which is a shoe museum in Toronto and they held this like sneaker exhibit this year and this is the book from it and there's another one that I found in a local art supply store called Art Noise and it's about um, it's images from like the feminist uprising in the 60s so um, that one is really interesting to me. I use books as a way to find inspiration for design and I like the history of them but I find um, coffee table books easy to bring in the little snippets of information but also they're just beautiful visually. If you've got someone in your life who loves to travel or maybe just has a pretty small jewelry collection um I would suggest getting them a little like zippered jewelry case that's easy to just pack um and take their stuff on the go. Um, I've seen them all over the places with different kind of like setups but generally um, the one on the screen here is the one I would the setup I would suggest. I'll link this one specifically in the um, description box um, but one that like zippers closed so it's completely sealed has a spot for necklaces rings and earrings has a bit of everything but is very secure that's what I would suggest um I wouldn't necessarily suggest like one of those ones that like rolls up or anything like that um and it's more like hard sided you know not necessarily like you don't want it to be squishy because if it's squishy you can crush it down potentially like bend rings um crush earring posts we don't want that we want it nice and secure okay so this next thing i am absolutely delighted that i actually own it already but it would make a really wickedly awesome gift and that is a robe, I know it doesn't look like much from here, a robe from Peridot Robes. So um, this was sent to me, which just thank you for doing that and you know. Anyways, so um, I picked the cuddle robe, but they have a ton of robes available right now um, in different colors, lengths. They go up to a 7X. I think I got the 7X, but it's honestly too big for me. Um, I wanted it extra baggy and long in the sleeves. Um, this one in particular has a hood, and when I wear it, I look like a fat Jedi. Um, so that's the vibe. Um, mine is in a mushroom color. Um, there's a ton of other colors available, and honestly, it's so cozy so comfy to wear. I wear it when I'm just feeling cold. I'll wear it at my desk here or sort of wherever. It's great to put on after you get out of the shower, after you, you know, towel dried and you just want to be cozy but not naked, you know. Um, and I'm so happy I have one of these now because it was basically the next thing on my list to purchase for myself. And now I've got one. Next up is a little bit of decor for my room. You know guys, I renovated everything and I mostly didn't buy anything new except for a couple of like storage things and some baskets and that's about it. But I haven't put any of my art back on the walls, hence the very blank walls. Um, 
And I used to have this really awesome gallery wall above my bed, but I decided I wasn't going to put it back up there. And instead, I want to get this really cute heart garland from the store I work at, Happy Thoughts. Um, side note, they ship in Canada, so if you are ordering it, I'll leave the link below. Um, it ships in Canada, not outside of Canada, unfortunately. But I'm sure you could find an alternative one if you wanted it. Um, and you're not in Canada. So... I want one of those, maybe a couple like layered up or stacked, um, and I just think it'd be really cute. I also asked my brother to get me these like clear acrylic little like um, picture rail like for books and like it's a little shelf. I can't even show it to you because like they're clear um, for Christmas. I literally just sent him the link and was like, please buy me this thing. Um, and I want to put it beside my bed because there's like this little nook you'll see i'll do a tour of my room soon it won't be anywhere near finished i haven't unpacked anything um or most things i still have several boxes around my room um it is a hot mess and a half but my desk area is organized and tidy and actually use usable so anyways um that's what i asked so that i could put it next to my bed so i can like set my phone on the bottom shelf and then put some art back up beside um because i found when i was sitting in my bed i would often hit it and i was a little scared that i'd knock one off and just like smack myself in the face if you want to get somebody something cool and fun maybe a little metal um i'm gonna suggest this metal abba sweatshirt it goes up to a 5xl the brand is Haley elasser i think i'm saying that right? i have no idea um she's based out of toronto and i think she does sort of like print on demand but she makes all the artwork and stuff um but i love that she tries to be as inclusive with sizing due to the limited constraints of print on demand though um there's not a lot of sizes, but I can wear a 5XL pretty well. It's not the oversized look that most people are looking for in a sweatshirt, but I love it. I have her Metal um, Spice Girls sweatshirt, and I would love to get the Metal ABBA one, so it's like a matching set in the Series Plus. ABBA's awesome, so why wouldn't I want ABBA on a sweatshirt? And last but not least is a fancy bag or a fancy wallet for someone in your life who loves bags or maybe just loves fun color and print. So um, I don't know how to pronounce this brand's name. I will link them in the description, but they make these cute like satchel bags that are all made in the UK as far as I understand. And they just have really fun patterns on them. They're leather and they're just beautiful the, I'll put one on the screen here and they also make little card wallets to match so if you would love to give them that big t like bag but can't actually fit that in your budget maybe go for the tiny little card wallet um I really want one of the card wallets to put my business cards in um because I just think pulling that little envelope style card wallet out would be really fun thank you guys so much for hanging out with me don't forget that there is a code for 30 percent off of cozy earth in the description um it's on the screen here too and uh the link is also in the description as well so you can save 30 percent off um your order and um Oh yes, by the way, I got the charcoal color of the bamboo sheets. They have a ton of other stuff available. They even have like pajamas and stuff that go up to a 3X. Um, so yeah, that was, or a 3XL. Um, anyway, that's all I have for you today. You don't need to see my pillow. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. And um, don't forget to subscribe, like this video. Let me know if you're going to buy any of these things for... Um, friends or family or yourself you're allowed to buy presents for yourself even though it's almost Christmas um, and I will see you guys soon bye